Hey love, so I'm back to do just a final update on this hair from Jolia Hair from Aliexpress. And I will be honest and tell you, it did not tangle. Just the only portion that really tangled, um, it did not, when I say really, I don't mean like, oh my God, really, really. But the only portion that always tangles on me for any wig, it doesn't matter if it's synthetic, human, it's kind of like in the nape area. This is where it normally tangles out for me. But for the most part, I don't have to wash the hair like every day. Some type of curl, some hairs or some curly hairs that you would purchase, you kind of find yourself having to wash them every single day, which is kind of annoying. But with this one, I don't have to wash it every single day and it's probably with the products that I will use on it so I will share that I will share that with you but for the most part it's still very very soft and lustrous and I do like it a lot I like I said I love the color that it came out to be and if you haven't watched the second video then this is actually the cream of nature box dye that I use which is called ginger blonde and I think it's the very lightest um, box dye with the cream of nature collection so if you're interested in that this is the one that I use along with that I did use something a little bit cheaper which is the color silk and I think that is by Revlon and it was more or less like an ash blonde but to be honest that box dye was not really that great um it really was not changing the hair color. It was like prolonging and prolonging. And I'm very impatient. But as soon as I put on the cream of nature, it just took to the cream of nature and the hair started lifting. The color started changing. So it all depends. Like me personally, I was kind of like um, apprehensive about even purchasing the color silk to make the hair lighter because some products that are for Caucasian hair really doesn't work that well. They don't seem as strong. And I wanted something really strong. And I've known from past experience with either dark and lovely or cream of nature the hair always turns those type of hair box hair dyes always work really really well when you want to kind of like lift the color in the hair so when I purchased the color silk I was kind of like mmm it's really inexpensive it's like two dollars and ninety two cents at Walmart so I wasn't really concerned about the price value I was just kind of concerned about the chemicals and how it would react especially because it said there was no ammonia so with the actual cream of nature it lifted the hair color so quick and I did not saturate the wig with it I created the wig first and then I went ahead and I did put the actual color silk on the hair first and then I went ahead on top of that and used just one box of the cream of nature and gave it like lighter blonde or lighter brown highlights so if you want it to be a lighter color of course you would go back in with that same box dye and just do the same thing like I would say like a week or so later especially if it's your own natural hair but with for a wig I would just wait a couple days later because it's a lot of work um, but yeah you can make it lighter than this um, with that cream of nature ginger blonde but you would have to do like several coats you'd have to wait and then go back and wait but I think that is like one of the best dyes and then I would think after cream of nature would be like the dark and lovely brand but for the most part with this brand um, or this vendor from I like Express, they have like some really great hair I will give them that this was my first experience working with them and being that it was my first experience and I did use like certain products like hair dyes and such I thought it was a really great experience because the hair continuously stayed soft and still had its luster and curl pattern so that was very very impressive plus it's um, super inexpensive this is three bundles of 16 inches and it kind of reminds me of my kinky hair but my kinky hair is not soft like this this is not a kinky texture though it may look a little bit full and big um just from camera that's just from me you know basically fluffing it out it's not kinky hair it is more or less very um it's just curly brazilian hair and this is just a little bit tighter curl but it's not like in the kinky hand tech um kinky texture anything like this i would say this is more or less it's just the jerry curl curl pattern that they have but it's very very full so yes, um, as for the products that I use to wash the hair, I don't really use anything um, expensive. I just use the Garnier um, conditioner, which I bought like this huge one from Sam's Club. And I use the um, Cream of Nature Eden Leave-In Conditioner Spray. And I, and I hang the wig upside down to wash it. So that is basically all I do. So yes, you can check them out on AliExpress. I will post all their information below along with that, the very first two videos that I did for them. And as well, if you're wondering, oh girl, you wearing red lipstick? 
yes I'm actually wearing red lipstick today finally you go on, you don't really see me too much in red but this color red is one from my collection uh, my lipstick line which is the extreme matte lips and this color is called smooches so of course when you have a brand or a name called smooches it's got to be like a red color so I, I wore my own red lipstick today so yes I will post the information below of where you can pick up this lipstick from as well as that as the hair as so on that note I hope you enjoyed this video stay diva and divalicious and I will catch you guys on my next video bye <music>